You'd think that news of a newborn king would spread like wildfire, but only a small group actually knew about Jesus' birth, probably about 12. Someone needed to come along and slap the world in the face and tell it that Jesus, the Messiah, had finally arrived. Enter John the Baptist. John emerged from the wilderness and set up camp by the Jordan River. His main job was preaching, repentance for the kingdom of God. John had a few hobbies, including turning camels into clothes, eating the finest locusts, and fulfilling a little prophecy on the side. Sounds like a bit of a weirdo. I hear you saying. Though John may seem like a social outcast, he was actually very popular, drawing many people from all over the region, including the Pharisees and the religious leaders. But John didn't always welcome them with open arms. You brood of vipers! Who told you about the coming wrath? You better start producing fruit to show that you've repented like everyone else here. But we're sons of Abraham. If he really wanted to, God could turn these stones into sons of Abraham. You're all like trees, all right? The axe is already laid at your roots. Therefore, anyone who does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. I think John was a bit more full on than we remembered. See this? It's water. That's what I use to baptize for repentance. But there's someone coming who will baptize with the Holy Spirit and fire. This is straw and this is grain. Soon you'll all be on the threshing floor where the king will sort the good wheat from the useless straw. The good wheat he takes to the barn, but the straw he will burn up with unquenchable fire. As John was preaching about the coming king, a new face had come to be baptized. I only baptize with water, but this man is so powerful, I'm not even worthy to carry his sandals. Could you just hold this for a sec? Hey, John. The man himself, Jesus of Nazareth, paid John a visit in the wilderness. Jesus asked John to baptize him, but John felt unworthy and declined. But it wasn't long till Jesus convinced John and he agreed. Then Jesus got the classic baptism experience from John. But I don't think anyone was expecting the finale to be so grand. The heavens opened and the Holy Spirit descended on Jesus like a dove. All the people heard a thunderous voice from heaven saying, This is my son, in whom I am well pleased. From that day on, Jesus' true identity would be slowly revealed and the good news of his death and resurrection would be shared for the rest of time.